Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing a console based banking application using Java programming language. In the last session we discussed on how we can add a see all transactions functionality for the admin. So in this session we are going to add one more functionality for the admin which is nothing but a check account balance. So admin can like um, enter any user ID or maybe customer's ID and with the help of that customer ID admin can check uh, uh, the account balance of that specific customer. So let's see how we can add that option. And again, we have previously created all these methods and everything uh, in our uh, like check bank balance video. So maybe you can just check that out. But uh, again, uh, over here itself, we have those methods. And in this session, we have to just use th those methods for the admin also. So let me just show you the method that we have previously created. So we have this method, which is nothing but check bank balance method which takes one user ID as a parameter and it basically returns the account balance for that particular user ID we have, which we have passed over here. So we have to just use the same method for admin also. So let me just go to the init admin method and then over here we have to add a fourth option which is nothing but check account balance or check bank balance check bank balance something like this let me just add a case 4 and let me just add a break also and over here we have to just call our check bank balance method so to call the check bank balance method we need a user id to be taken as an input so let me just use system.out.println enter user id and then what we have to do we have to just use string user id is equals to I will just use scanner dot next something like this and over here it is like giving me the issue because on line number 57 itself we have one variable uh, declared which is having the same name so over here what we can just do maybe we can just uh, declare it uh, at the uh, at the above or maybe we can just give the separate name so whatever thing we would like we, we can just do that one so what I will just do is I'll just do one thing. I'll just copy this name and I'll just paste it at the top. And then let me just do one thing. Let me just assign it instead of assigning assigning it as a null. What I'll just do, I'll just assign it as a double quotes because if we assign it as a null, there might be chances that we will get the null pointer exceptions. Instead of that, I'll just uh, assign it as a like uh, empty uh, double quotes something like this and then what we can just do we can just remove this declaration over here and similarly we can just remove the declaration from here also and now what we have to just do is we have to just use uh, check bank balance and then user id something like this and this method will return us the account balance or maybe uh, like double variable so we have to just store it into some double variable account balance and then what we can just do we can just print that account balance so your account balance is and we can just print that particular value something like this and now let me just save these changes and let me just restart the application let's see what happens uh, like whether we are able to print the balance or not so over here it is asking us for login credentials what i will just do is i'll just log in with admin itself so let me just do one thing let me just log in with admin and then uh, we have the fourth option added what i have to just do is uh, for example let's suppose if i just want to ch check the balance for user 2 then user 2 balance is nothing but a thousand so let's see whether we are able to get that or not let me put user id as user 2 and over here it is giving me like account balance is 1000 maybe let's try to use user 4 also so let me just use user 4 and yes your account balance is 2000 which means we are able to fetch the account balance uh, for this particular user id successfully so again this was pretty small sessions um, but uh, because we have already created all the methods and everything but if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case 
and i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session